Good morning. Welcome to uh, the Patriot Football Bowl number six. This is the championship. Uh, this is season number six, 2025. We have uh, a repeat attendee in the Niagara Cataract who uh, came up three points shy last year of, of uh, upsetting Northboro Tigers. Uh, the Niagara Cataract, owned by Paul Govier, have solidified this roster. They spent $13 million to build a medical facility and to lock down every, every player, as well as sign two new defensive players, which improved their run defense. And this team has gone 9-2 and two to get back to the championship. Niagara, you could say, has been on a mission, an unbelievable mission to achieve this, to get there. Fantastic. The Mesa Machine visiting Coming into town, the Mesa Machine with rookie head coach and coach of the year, Wilbert Mulhaney, uh, has turned around after the acquisition of Pennington and the drafting the Heisman Trophy winning running back, uh, Lenny Jacobson out of, oh, I think, OSU, uh, has uh, set a league record with 13 rushing touchdowns this year. And he is back healthy, had a scare last week as he was taken off the field on a stretcher. But they say he is be he's ready to go. They believe he can get the job done today. Uh, they'll look at an MRI post-game, and he may have to do some uh, a surgery in the offseason. But he decides that he wants to try to play. Uh, this team uh, has finished 8-3 and three versus 9-2. and two. Fantastic. The two best teams, two best records end up in the championship. Mason Machine's first uh, foray into the playoffs and their first chance at a championship. So both these teams, fantastic. Uh, again, the Mason Machine with coach uh, Wilbert Mulhaney uh, like a balanced attack featuring their halfback, Lenny Jacobson. They also have Mickey Garrett, six-time vet at flanker, fantastic wide receiver. Tom Dane, six-year vet at tight end. And again, their kickers are green, punting the ball, and Riker. Riker had five touch uh, field goals last week to vault Mesa over the very competitive Northboro Tigers to keep Northboro from repeating to the championship. Uh, Grant Kruko, not a great year for him in return game. They have a solid pass defense led by Phil Barnwell, who picked off a pass last week to seal the deal. They have Bill Haynes in the middle of that defense and Barry Willems pressuring quarterbacks. Uh, this team has a power rating of nine. On the flip side, the Niagara, uh, we are at the Falls Arena. They have a medical facility. They cannot suffer an injury. Bill Ingram leading the way. They believe in a smash-mouth attack with Robert Douglas running play action. They have Donnie Kelly and Jack Babb in the backfield. Herman Keneal is their star receiver. And Milt DeVoe, who caught two touchdowns last week at tight end, fantastic. They have a kicking, uh, Jan Sauters is the punter, and Kyle Elderwayne is the place kicker. They have Uarea returning uh, kicks, and Uawea and Chapman returning punts. This team has the one of the best defenses on paper against the run in the pass, led by Lonnie Roman, acquired with Alex Arnold in the offseason to shore up the run defense, and Andrew Kingdom, Kingham, uh, Kingman leads that secondary. Uh, their power rating a 10. You can see these two teams are very good, very well matched, and we're about to get underway. I will check weather before we do anything else here, but let me go ahead and shuffle the deck. Got to divide it up. We'll get the weather. This is the Patriot Ball 6, Patriot Football League Championship, uh, and Niagara trying to get their first ring, Mesa trying to get their first ring. The weather today is 3. Uh, excuse me, three is weather, so we got to flip another one to see, and it is four. Gusting winds. There are poor passing conditions. Ignore all wide receivers. That's split in, flanker, tight end, and wide. Oh, -ho. so Mickey Garrett is turned zero. Tom Danes is zero. Herman Keneal is zero, and Milt DeVoe is zero. And two pass defenses in the minuses. Passing the ball is going to be greatly affected in this weather. Fantastic. So we have high winds, gusting high winds. Unbelievable. So here we go. That's going to help both these teams who love to run the ball. So I don't think it's going to be a huge problem. All right, let's find out. The uh, winner of the coin toss gets to select whether they kick or receive. Visitor, they are going to take the ball against Niagara. 
Mesa wants the ball first. The kick with a plus two coach is uh, down to the it's touchback. So Mesa brings it out to the 25. Mesa with a balanced core, uh, uh, coaching staff, balanced uh, 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 a style attack. Harold Pennington comes out in an I formation. Lenny Jacobson, they're going to test that knee early, I suspect. They're going to run outside for five, six, seven, minus one is six yards for Jacobson. That looked good as he climbs, uh, he, he uh, hits that uh, edge. Breaks a couple of tackles, picks up six. It is second and four. Jacobson not appearing to limp. He wasn't limping in pregame warm-ups. I do believe he's uh, that knee is okay. Hopefully it was just a bad sprain. The MRI won't tell us anything else later in the week. They line up in the I formation. He sends Mickey Garrett across. The winds, you can see the flags at the top of the stadium. They are out straight. They're not whipping. It is a straight gust. Every once in a while, those flags will drop and then lift again as those winds are howling. He snaps the ball inside, hands it off up the gut for seven more yards, minus one, six, five, six. Jacobson gets two handoffs in a row for 12 yards. This kid led the league in rushing and also finished with a record-setting 13 rushing touchdowns. Anything he gets in this game adds to his records. It is first and 10. Mesa Machine, two great runs. They uh, set up, pro set. They're split. The backs are split in the backfield. Handoff on a slant handoff up the middle for three, four, five, four-yard run for Jacobson. He's had three straight runs. They are going to test that knee out today. Looks fantastic so far. And with this win, they need him. It is second and six. Second and six. Harold Pennington under center. He backs out into a shotgun. Looking over the defense, he sends Tom Danes to the other side. He went from strong right to strong left. He sees something in that uh, linebacking core, maybe Tom Danes' isolation. Snaps the ball, drops back. It's a timing pass. He looks, he fires to the wide receiver. Uh, a D a Daryl Dell for 12, minus 3, 9 yards. So 5 and 4 is a first down at the 50-yard line. Mesa Machine with an opportunistic pass there. The ball fluttered in the air, but uh, Del, uh, Daryl Dell with great hands pulls it in and picks up uh, nine and the first. It is first and ten for the Mesa Machine at the 50. The Niagara Cataract reeling a little bit from this opening drive. Mesa pitches the ball outside for two to Denny Stockton. He gets one yard. It is second and nine at the 49 of the Niagara Cataract. Looking over the defense, Harold Pennington steps back. It's a play-action pass. He's rolling to the right. Fake the handoff to Jacobson. Jacobson trying to slide out of the backfield, and it's a 17-yard strike to Garrett. That's 17, 18, 19, minus 3, 16 yards, 5, 10, 15, 16, down to the 33 and a first down. That was a brilliant play by Harold Pennington, a play-action pass. Uh, when Jacobson has led the league and runs as well as he does, the play action is a fantastic weapon against these good defenses, especially defenses that are so, so aggressive. It is first and 10 uh, Mesa at the 33 of Niagara. Here we go. Sets up, hands it off up the gut for minus two, minus three, one, two, three. Three yard loss for uh, Grant Krutko. It is second and 13. He's in the shotgun, spreads everybody out wide, brings Daryl Dell back in the game since Denny Stockton out. Lenny Jacobson, the lone back in the backfield beside him on his left-hand side. He's barking out signals, sets up. It's a, it's a deep drop. He fires incomplete pass. It is third and 13. Niagara fans screaming as this drive threatens early in the high winds. Harold Pennington lines up again on the shotgun. This time, Lenny Jacobson on his right-hand side. You see him talking to Lenny, leans in, talks. He points out the outside linebacker. He's anticipating a blitz, he thinks. Snaps the ball. He's looking for the tight end deep, and it is 11 to the split end. He strikes across to enter for eight. Not enough. Five, six, seven, eight. It is fourth down. That was an eight-yard pass. Fourth down at the 28. In this weather, we move it into the next bracket. He has to kick, so weather forces everything up one. So 28, we move it up to the next bracket. So technically, this is like a 31 to 40-yard field goal. He needs a 5 or a 6 in this weather. The Mesa machine talking it over on the sidelines. The crowd roaring, and they roar louder as he sends Harold Pennington back out into the game. They're going for it, folks. Fourth and 5 at the 28. 
Harold Pennington in the huddle tight, the crowd roaring. They don't want to have this team get an early seven-point lead. Harold Pennington in the shotgun, looking the defense over. He sends Daryl Dell in motion, snaps the ball, drops deep. Timing pass, folks. 63 yards, 28 and a touchdown. Wow, the Mesa machine fires a touchdown strike to Frank Etter. It is Pennington, who's won a ring, folks. Pennington won a ring with the Columbia Coolers a couple of years ago. Pennington, a 28-yard pass to Etter. Etter has had two good playoff games so far. The extra point is good. And just like that, on a fourth and five, he takes a shot at the end zone and gusting wind. Pennington's here to say, wind, no wind. I'm going to tear you up. The kickoff is three at the nine for the Niagara Cataract. The fans, unbelievably uh, uh, still screaming, 8, 17, 37 yard return, 10, 20, 35, 6, and 7, out to the 46. Niagara already in field, already cuts the field in half on a beautiful return by none other than Oya Weya, the kid from South Africa. Fantastic. Holy cow. Mesa strikes first on a bomb. Beautiful. All right, uh, again, the Falls Arena is beautiful. The weather is gusting wind, although sunshiny. They calm the crowd down, uh, uh, Bill Ingram on the sidelines, the, everybody on defense over there trying to calm them down. The fans finally cool as, as uh, Robert Douglas comes out of the huddle, lines them up in a pro-style attack, and he's going to pitch it outside. It's a fumble lost. Unbelievable. He gets a yard, coughs it up. Loses the ball on an outside fumble loss run. That is sad. Niagara, NC, fumble away at their own 47-yard line. That's horrible. Well, it's horrible for them. It's great for the Pennington and the Mesa machine. As Pennington charges out, the fans stunned silent. Harold Pennington, you can hear him barking signals now. The crowd is so stunned. Uh, they're trying to get the crowd on their feet. Now the crowd starts to pick up their... Uh, they pick up their uh, volume as he snaps the ball on an inside run to Lenny Jacobson up the gut for three. Plus two, five, minus one, four yards. It's second and six. Jacobson looks healthy. I think the, I think maybe he's going to finish this game, but we're going to find out. Harold Pennington under center. Looks the defense over. He sends uh, Frank Etter in motion across. Drops back. It's a timing pass, folks. Looking incomplete. He fires it over Tom Dane's head. And it is third down and six, third and six. Harold Pennington under center, uh, not in the shotgun, directing traffic behind him as he's trying to move Denny Stockton and Jacobson. He's getting them to switch sides. It looks like he might be planning on, on running a power to the right. Snaps the ball. It is indeed a power sweep. Outside run, minus one. Gives it to Denny Stockton. Denny Stockton loses two yards. It is fourth down at the 45 of the Mesa machine. And without a doubt, they will punt. They're going to punt without modifier. The punt is 2 plus 2 is 4. It's a 3. It's 38 yards. A brilliant punt. 10, 20, 35, 6, 7, 8. He fills it at the 7. The return is 7. The return is 13 and 7 is 20 yards. 10, 20 out to the 27 goes uh, 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 Chapman. Very nice. Niagara dodges a bullet. They keep them from scoring after fumbling the ball away. The fans now breathe a sigh of relief, as does Coach Ingram. Robert Douglas back out in the huddle. He's talking to Donnie Kelly. Clearly, they had a miscommunication on that pitch, that ball bouncing around in the turf. He sets up under center. They're in the I formation. He snaps the ball. It's a pitch outside. He gets, oh, he gets one yard against this defense. Second and nine. Robert Douglas back under center, looking over the defense. He sends Milt DeVoe in motion. The tight end snaps the ball. It's an outside pitch for seven, eight yards, five, six, seven, and eight. It is third and one. Donnie Kelly with a brilliant run, tackled by Barry Willems, but it is now third and one. In the eye, uh, brings in a third back, Larry Andes, the three backs in the backfield, tight end in tight, flanker in motion across the and he snaps the ball with a, franker, a flanker in between the guard and the tackle on the right side. They're going to have a power formation. They're running inside behind the power. And it is a jack bab. One yard gain for a first down. Boy, it took every blocker they had to break up that Barry Willems uh, double team block. Barry Willems brings him down, but not before he gets the first down. 
First and 10, Robert Douglas under center looks the defense over. No movement. They're in the eye. He drops back. He fakes the handoff. It's a play-action pass. Drops three steps deeper. Fires a timing route. Incomplete deep. Looking for Henry Keneal. It doesn't happen. Second and 10. The crowd rumbling and grumbling a little bit here. He was open. The wind pulled that ball far to the right. There was no way Superman might have caught that ball. Henry Keneal not to blame. Neither is Robert Douglas. The wind in control of that. He's under center. He looks it over. I think maybe that's going to change the philosophy. Second and ten. Hands off. It's a, it's a handoff outside. He hits the corner. Picks up five yards. It's third and five. Nice run for Donnie Kelly through the gap. He's tackled by Barry Willems for the third tackle again on by Barry Willems on this drive alone. The Niagara Cataract. Uh, uh, Robert Douglas under center. This team does not use a shotgun. He lines them up in a near formation. The run, the fullback directly behind him. Donnie Kelly lined up behind the left tackle. The strong side tight end right. Uh, uh, twins left. This formation was super effective for them passing the ball last week. He sets up, drops back, five-step drop. He's looking. It's a timing route. Fires. It's intercepted. 17 yards down. Failed. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. It's picked off by Phil Barnwell. Barbell returning at 4, minus 7. He returns at 7 yards. 5, 6, 7 out to the 48. Barnwell, that's another turnover. Barnwell, that was brilliant. Barnwell turns it over again. Um, excuse me, Barnwell gets their second turnover. Very crazy. So the Mesa Machine defense getting the job done. The crowd kind of grumbling. They're not booing yet, but you can hear they're on the verge. They are 9-2 at home. They expect to win a championship. It is first and 10. First and 10, Mesa Machine on their own 48. Mesa sets up I formation. This is going to be a handoff up the gut to Len, uh, Lenny Jacobson, and he picks up two plus two is four yards, minus one, three yards. So one, two, three. There it is. It is second and seven. Harold Pennington under center steps out, backs up about four steps into the shotgun. Lenny Jacobson splits out into the slot, leaving Denny Stockton in the backfield. They're spreading out in a shotgun. He snaps the ball. He's rolling to the right. Progression pass. Short pass to the tight end. Tom Danes for six. Minus three. Three yards to Danes. One, two, three. He completes it on a short rollout, but not for a lot. It is third and four, but it cuts that down to a manageable third and four. Third and four, Harold Pennington under center now. He's got Denny Stockton and Grant Kruko in the backfield with Lenny Jacobson. I think they've got a power set going here. Subbed out of the ball game is Frank Etter. He looks over the defense, snaps. It's a play-action pass, fakes the handoff up the gut to Jacobson. He's rolling to the left. He's got pursuing him. Lonnie Roman, he's, he's looking deep, incomplete. The wind just throws that ball, flutters, it floats, and it disappears into the green turf. 15 yards shy of his intended target. That was uh, that wind is going to make things tough today, folks. They send in the punter, Fred Green. He punts the ball for three. Three is fair catch. 35 and a fair catch. 10, 20, 30, and five. Down to the 11. That that uh, 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 that ball in the gusting winds, wavering like mad. You could see Oyawea waving that hand and trying desperately to not drop that ball not knowing where the wind was going to put it, but he made a great catch and uh, didn't want to risk uh, trying to return it. It is first and 10, Niagara, at their own 11. Robert Douglas under Sydney looking things over, snaps. He's going to pitch it outside to Kelly for one yard. Wow, that defense stifling. Number four, Barry Willems makes another tackle. Second down and nine, Robert Douglas under center looking over the uh, defense. He sends Milt DeVoe to the lot left side. He's going to pitch left, outside run to the left for four yards. Very nice. It is third and five. Donnie Kelly on a great run there, tackled by three. That is Phil Barnwell coming off the edge, tripping up, uh, tripping up Donnie Kelly so he can't hit the corner. It is third and five. Robert Douglas under sender. He, sprit, he sends Donnie Kelly out of the backfield. There's three so into the slot, making a three wide receiver set. Jack Babb behind him. He's going to hand it off up the gut on an inside run for 13 yards, 14 yards, 10, 11, 12, 13, and a first down at the 29 yard line. What a brilliant call. He spread everybody out. He hands it off up the gut. It's a 14 yard carry. Beautiful run by Jack Babb, the fullback. He's had two good weeks. 
uh, b getting these really good uh, short runs that are converting uh, first downs. That's what's important about them. They're first down runs. And then he's had a couple of these kind of mid-range runs. Fantastic. Last play of the first quarter. Robert Douglas under center. He looks everything over. He's going to pitch it outside to, Don uh, to Douglas. I mean to Kelly. Uh, headed to the right. It is a minus one run. Plus one nothing. Tackled by Barry Willems. That ends the quarter. It is second and ten. And that ends the first quarter. Wow. What a quarter. Two turnovers by the Niagara Cataract, and they're in the game. Boy, they could be down big. It's 7-0 Mesa. Niagara dodging a bullet. They've gotten very lucky that they have not uh, suffered on those two turnovers. If Mesa goes on to lose this game, the conversation and every midnight nightmare, they wake up at 2 in the morning. Coach Wilbert Mulhaney will wake up saying, we had them. If we could have converted with those turnovers, we had them. It will haunt him for the rest of his days if they don't pull this game out. They'll talk forever about how they squandered two free possessions on this team and on this defense in their house, in the championship, and couldn't convert. If they win, it's a, it's a footnote, and it's, a, it's academic, but they got to win. Here we go. The Niagara Cataract, of course, they're thrilled. They know they're champs. It's just a matter of when that whistle blows. They know they got it. They've turned the ball over twice, and Mesa couldn't penetrate their defense. Niagara not concerned about handling Mesa over the course of this game. Uh, and they're at home with the crowd at their back. So let's see what happens as this game continues. Second quarter. Here we go. Second quarter. All right, here it is. Second and 10 at their own 29 are the Niagara. Robert Douglas sets up. He looks over the defense. It's a play action, rollout pass, timing, looking deep, incomplete. Third down, third down. Robert Douglas now under center. He spreads Donnie Kelly out. Jack, last time they did this, Jack Babb got an inside run. They're not going to do it this time. He's going to drop deep, sets up. Jack Babb trying to keep Barry Willems off his quarterback. Fires for 36 36 minus 2, 34 yard pass downfield to Rocky Oyeweya. 10, 20, 30, and 4. Rocky Oyeweya with a brilliant catch down the sideline. He is finally tripped up by Phil Barnwell. Fantastic play. Uh, Niagara Cataract trying to tie this game early in the second. And here we go. Robert Douglas back under center. The crowd quiet. You can hear him bark signals. It's so quiet. Donnie Kelly shifts from the eye, from the pro set into the eye behind Jack Babb. They snap it. They're going to pitch it wide to the left. He hits the corner. He jukes. He runs past Barry Willems, lays his shoulder into uh, Bill Hayes, running him over. Phil Barnwell pushes him out, but not before he gets 28 yards down the sideline. 10, 25, 6, 7, and 8, and they pull him down at the 9. It's first and goal at the 9. And Donnie Kelly with a brilliant 27-yard run. He laid out poor Bill Hayes, the middle linebacker. Stuck. Uh, he hit him square. Donnie Kelly lowered that shoulder and put him on his back. Phil Barnwell had to push him out at the 9. It is first and goal at the 9. Niagara threatening. Second quarter. Robert Douglas under center looking over the defense. Jack Babb in tight. Donnie Kelly in him, behind him in the eye. They're going to run the ball up the gut. It is a two-yard run by the fullback. Second and goal at the seven. Babb gets a nice run up the gut. Tackled by Phil Barnwell. Coming up to help. It is second down and goal. Robert Douglas loves the play action down here. Looking over the defense. You see him send uh, uh, Terry Chapman in motion. They're crossing the field. they got twins left. Uh, strong right. He's going to fake the handoff on a rollout, timing pass, touchdown to the flanker, Herman Canil. That was a beautiful play. Douglas on a sweet play action rollout pass, uh, a, a seven-yard pass to Canil and the extra point. And we have a 7-7 ball game. What a story. P-A-T is good. The kickoff. The kickoff is six. They're four deep. They'll take it at the 25. Holy cow, the Mesa machine. Now get a taste of what Niagara can do. Donnie Kelly with a big run on that drive. And then a beautiful play action rollout pass by Robert Douglas. He did that all last year. He's done it all this year. This team well coached. This team talented. 
uh, Niagara literally trying to meet their fate as they believe they were fated to win this title. It's hard to beat a team that believes they're fated to win. All right, and Mesa Machine takes the field. Harold Pennington in the huddle. Lenny Jacobson lined up in a pro set. They snap the ball. It is a uh, inside run. Picks up. Ooh, stuck dead for a loss of two is the is the uh, is the fullback Denny Stockton. Second and twelve. Unbelievable. Harold Pennington now drops into the shotgun. He's directing traffic. Denny Stockton's not in the game. They have subbed in Daryl Dell. He looks it over. He barks the signals. Uh, sets up. He's got protection from uh, from uh, Lenny Jacobson in the backfield. He's looking for a timing pass. He finds Mickey Garrett for 17, 14 yards, 10 and 4. First down, Mason Machine, Lenny, uh, Mickey Garrett, the old vet, gets wide open. He's tackled by Andrew Kingman. First down and 10, Mesa at the 37, second quarter, it is 7 to 7, gusting winds here folks, for those of you who just tuned in, it's a beautiful day, but look at the flags at the top of the stadium, it is crazy windy. Mesa Machine, Harold Pennington's back under center, looks over the defense, he's pitching left, it is for 3, 4, 5 to Jacobson, minus 1, 4 yard run for Jacobson. Second down, Lenny uh, Harold Pennington takes three steps over toward the sidelines. He's trying to say uh, something or signal something to the coaching staff. He steps back into the huddle, talks it over. They come out. They're in the I formation, and he pitches it again for six, seven, eight, minus one, seven, five, six, seven, first down. Jacobson with two great runs there on that. Outstanding play calls. Harold Pennington under center. I don't know what he was trying to communicate to the coaches, but he obviously decided he would call his own thing, and it was a great call, seven yards. Harold Pennington under center, uh, puts uh, Frank Etter in motion, sets up. He hands it off up the gut for five yards, Jacobson. So Jacobson with three carries in a row. They're really enjoying the luxury of having the best back in football. It is second and five at the 47 of the Mesa Machine, threatening in the second quarter. Harold Pennington under center. He sends Frank Etter out wide. You see him stand up from the pot, uh, from the from under center, and he pushes both hands to Etter. Etter moves outside the uh, the numbers on the closest to the sideline as he can get. I'm thinking a bubble screen here. Snaps the ball. It is a progression pass. Bubble screen seven, but it not to you who you think it is. He ends up coming back, double tapping the ball, and throws it to Tom Danes for seven minus three, five yards, and a first down. So he did want to throw the bubble when he realized the defensive backs knew it. He turned uh, he turned directly to his right and he fired a bullet into the chest of Tom Danes for five in the first down. It is first and 10 at the Niagara 42. The Mesa Machine with a great drive. Harold Pennington under center looking the teams over. He has them set up in a pro set. Twins left, strong side right. They like to run and throw out of this formation. He sets up. It's going to be a pass. He rolls to the right. Timing pass. He's under pressure. Lonnie Roman chasing him. It is six. The pressure it leads to an 11-yard run by the quarterback, minus one 10-yard run by the quarterback, 10-11. Pennington making it happen. Remember, uh, folks, Pennington is a championship uh, uh, ring holder. He has been a champion. He won a championship for the Coolers. He was then uh, unmercilessly, um, unceremoniously cut and waved in favor of Tony Betters, who now is the leader of the Columbia Coolers. And right now, Harold Pennington is enjoying his luck. He's in the huddle for quite some time. They come out. They set up in a far. Strong side left. Twins right. Far formation. That means fullback under the, uh, right behind the quarterback and the halfback lined up on the, uh, behind the tight end on the right side. Looks like it's going to be a power sweep to the left outside. And sure enough, that's what it is. And it's for a loss of, no, it's for one. Yep, nowhere actually. Plus one. No, plus, plus one. He gets one yard. Nice. It is second and nine. Mesa Machine not getting away with that power sweep against this defense. Tackled by Andrew Kingman, by the way. Harold Pennington under center, directing traffic. He then stands up, point, uh, uh, smacks his center on the butt, points out the mic, backs up into the shotgun, sends Frank Enter in motion. It looks like he's going to throw the ball, folks. Yep, he's looking deep. Timing. 
incomplete Edder not able to get there the ball again the wind fluttering that ball all over not able to complete that he did this last on the last drive he ended up throwing a bomb from here for a touchdown it is third and nine third and nine Pennington back in the shotgun everybody's stable nobody in motion he's showing them a formation I think he's planning on a particular play sets up drops back it is a timing pass and it is incomplete the wind wreaking havoc upon the ball as it flutters and floats out of the range of uh, Mickey Garrett's uh, six foot seven wingspan can't quite get it of course Mickey Garrett's only six two but with a wingspan of six seven and it is fourth down. They would be kicking this at the 41. Oh, they're going to have to go for it again here. There's no way they're going to make this field goal. It is first. It is fourth and nine at the 21. And Harold Pennington, the crowd on their feet, trying to make it deafening. He calls a play. They line up. No motion. It's clear he's going to go with a silent count. He doesn't want motion to, come, to cause a uh, jump or a penalty. And he is going to look for a timing pass, 26 yards to the split in. Frank Etter catches it for 23, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, down to the 7, first and goal at the 7. The Mesa machine, he throws a bullet, a strike to Frank Etter on a post route right in front of uh, Andrew Kingman, who has to wrestle him down at the 7. It's first and goal at the 7 in the middle of the second quarter. It is 7-7. Seven to seven. The crowd stunned silent. Harold Pennington under center looking at Lenny Jacobson. They line up in the eye. He pitches it outside for four plus two. Five-yard run down to the two-yard line. Lenny Jacobson almost twisted away from uh, uh, Alexi Arnold into the end zone. It is second and goal at the two. They line up in a, in a uh, pro set. Three backs. They're going to run power behind the strong tight end Tom Danes. Inside run up the gut for loss of one. Denny Stockton hit in the backfield by Lonnie Roman it is third and goal from the three. Third and goal from the three Harold Pennington comes out under center third and goal from the three he looks over the defense He's, he has Lenny Jacobson in the I formation they shift now on the second sound they shift into a pro set snaps the ball he's pitching it outside to Jacobson he's gonna get two one yard it is fourth and goal at the one he's tripped up by Alexi Arnold he could not he gave a little juke step to Arnold they kinda mirrored each other and as he tried to beat him to the pylon at the corner uh, Arnold stuck his shoulder into that right hip and drove him out down at the two and put a stop on that and uh, Alexi Arnold is a brilliant tackler he just negated the talents of Lenny Jacobson down there at the two. It is fourth and goal from the two. Even in this weather, it'll push it up to the next slot, but this would give them the lead late in the uh, second, and they're going to kick it. The spot down, uh, Retker marks his spot, the snap up, it's spotted down, he kicks it, and it is, he's on the road. Uh, no good, he actually misses it. The wind holds it up, and it flutters to the left and just outside the left upright. I cannot believe it. Rector missed a 19-yard field goal. That is unbelievable. They're going to hate that they squandered that. But it does put a uh, highlight on one of the new rules this year. All kicks are taken from the spot of the kick. So that means Ni Niagara has to travel 98 yards for a touchdown. So it doesn't hurt the Mesa machine to miss that, aside from missing the points. All right, taking the field, Robert Douglas, the fans cheering over that missed field goal. Chip shot, field goal, missed, sad. Johnny, uh, Johnny Rector uh, in his sixth year, for the, for who used to be the Portland Grizzlies, now the Mesa machine. The Niagara Cataract with Robert Douglas set up in a tight formation. This is a power set, and clearly they're going to run up the gut, and it is one yard for Jack Babb. Second down, Jack Babb with a fight for one yard, tackled by Barry Willems. It is second down and nine. He lines up in a similar formation. This time, though, he sends in motion. Terry Chapman snaps the ball. He's going to run inside, up the gut. Guess who? 12 yards. Jack Babb, 10, 11, 12, out to the 15. Babb hit that hole so fast that before they could close in on him and trip him up, Phil Barnwell drag him down. He got 12 yards. It is first and 10 at the 15 of Niagara with about three minutes to play. 
uh, Douglas under center, looks over the defense. Again, this team does not like the shotgun. They run everything out of a pro set or an eye, and they like to run a lot of play action. He snaps the ball. It's a fake handoff to Kelly. He's rolling to his left. It's going to be a timing pass of 17 yards to the flanker, 18, minus 2, 16 yards, 5, 10, 15, 16, down to the 31. Two big plays in a row for the Niagara Cataract as Robert Douglas runs the play action pass flawlessly. He is tackled by Phil Barnwell. It is now first and 10 at the Niagara 31. They've already moved the ball 29 yards off that goal line. Robert Douglas under center, looks over the defense, hands off outside to Donnie Kelly for seven, eight yards. Beautiful run, five, six, seven, eight. The one thing the Niagara Cataract can do is run the ball with either of their backs. Fantastic offense. Robert Douglas back under center. It is second and two. He loves this for play action, and indeed, that's what he does. Snaps the ball, fakes the handoff up the gut to Jack Babb, rolls to his right, uh, ducks uh, Barry Willems as he's coming in to get the sack. He's firing deep on the timing route, incomplete, dodging Lonnie Roman. It is third and two. Third and two. They line up in a power set with Larry Andes in the backfield with Donnie Kelly and Jack Babb. They're clearly going to punch this up the gut. Snaps the ball. Sure enough, everybody knows it. And Babb gets five yards and a first down. Brilliant run by the fullback. Jack Babb has been the quiet leader of this team over the last couple of uh, years. He really gets all those key third down runs. It's been brilliant as Jack Babb. This is it, folks. We're coming to the two-minute warning. Three timeouts left for Niagara. They've driven it this far out from their two. They are now at the first and 10 at their own 44. Uh, Robert Douglas under center looks over the defense. Uh, sends Terry Chapman in motion. They now have twins left, strong side right. Pitches it outside for one yard for Donnie Kelly. And it is second down and nine. Robert Douglas back in the huddle. You see him saying, waving something over to the sidelines. He steps back into the huddle. He looks at his... He looks at his uh, armband, reads off something. This might be a play we haven't seen before, folks. Robert Douglas comes out, gets under center, sends Donnie Kelly out far, far to the right beyond the numbers. He's on the way over to the sideline. Again, bubble screen look uh, here. Sets up. It is a straight drop, seven-step drop. He's just going to go with a normal deep bomb, and it is under pressure as, as Barry Willems breaks down. The uh, pass protection, he's on the run, he's running for his life, the run for two, plus two, he ends up throwing, let's see here, two, seven, seven yard strike to Rocky Oewea, who was his check down, five, six, seven, whoop, minus two is five, so a five yard pass, it is now third, it is now third and one, two, three, four, five, third and five, holy cow, and here we are, final minute, third and five, Robert Douglas under center, he looks like he's going to run the ball here, but he could play action. He sets up. He does. He rolls out, fakes the handoff to Donnie Kelly. He's looking deep, and that is 12 yards to the split end. Terry Chapman for 10 yards. First down at the 40. They call a timeout. Does Niagara. Outstanding drive. They've called a timeout, and it is first and 10 at the 40, and they have to get much closer to even think about a field goal. Robert Douglas, under center, sends a man in motion. That man is Rocky Oyawea. He drops back, sets up. He's got Donnie Kelly and Jack Babb staying in the backfield to protect him. He fires deep, incomplete, second down. Another timeout. He's talking it over with the coach. Uh, Don, uh, Robert Douglas runs over during the timeout, talks to Bill Ingram face-to-face. -face. You see him also lean over, chatting with Larry Andes and Rocky Oyawea. Uh, he brings them out with him, and uh, you see Jack Babb come off the field and Ch Terry Chapman. He sets up in a he sets up under center. They're in a split formation, three wide receivers, tight end and tight, one running back. He snaps the ball. He's looking deep, fires twelve yards to the split end. That's going to be another ten yard pass. First and uh, first down at the thirty. Unbelievable. This is it. Final timeout. They've got two. They got a play plus the final card. It is first and 10 at the 30. They would be kicking a very long field goal in this gusting win. They got to want to make something happen to make this easier. Again, he stays with the trips. Tight end to the right. 
two to the left and a split out wide to the right and one back in the backfield with him, but he is under center. Snaps the ball, drops deep. It's a nine-step drop. He's taking a shot for the end zone. Touchdown. He floats one deep into the corner. Herman Canil out racing Phil Barnwell. Fingertip catch. He pulls it into his chest, taps both feet, and tumbles into the cameraman. And it is a touchdown of 30 yards. Holy cow, Douglas gets a, a touchdown pass to Keneal. That's back-to-back -back touchdown passes for this pair. And the PAT in this wind is good. I can't believe that ball floated and hit the mark. The wind's clearly blowing more difficult at the other end of this stadium. The kickoff now is four yards deep. They'll take it at the 25. The Mesa machine now down. 14 to 7 on the final 30 seconds of play. Mesa's gonna call a timeout. They're gonna line up in the shotgun with Pennington. Pennington looking over the defense. Since Frank Etter in motion, he sets up, snaps, fires deep. He's going down as Lonnie Roman. He double clutches and Roman sacks him for a loss of 10. Holy cow, sack by Roman. Minus 10, that was brilliant. Holy jeebers. Nice play. They do not call a timeout. Neither do Niagara. They're going to think I'm, I think they're going to sit on this ball and go in at the half and talk about what they can do. That was a dangerous play. They hand it off up the gut for 13, 14, 15 yard run, 14 yards, 10, 14 before the blow uh, the, the, the gunfire for the end of the quarter. At halftime, Niagara scores 14 unanswered points in the second. Two Douglas to Keneal pass touchdowns. It is 14 to 7. Niagara at home at halftime. The halftime show here is a uh, very subtle presentation of the local state championship high school band. Subtle for a moment, and then it explodes into brilliance as this. Uh, as this high school band lays out some fantastic um, choreography and some great music. There's nothing like a brilliant college and high school band. And boy, you can see how these kids won the state title for marching band. Outstanding. The fans on their feet cheering. Few of them have left to use the John or to buy some hot dogs. But they're enjoying the local high school state champions here. And it is over. It is time to play the second half of the Patriot Football League Bowl 6. And here we go. Here we go. All right, the kickoff. By the way, Niagara gets the ball. They kicked off. So this is going to put Niagara in a chance to score twice before, before Mesa can touch the ball. Seven, touchback. Ball to 25. Niagara thrilled. Fans uh, very uh, jovial at halftime. The marching band was fantastic. Here we go. Niagara with Robert Douglas. They're going to run the ball outside. Loss of one. But uh, he manages to fight back to the original line of scrimmage under the thralls of Bill Hayes. Mesa Machine make a tackle there. Second and ten. In the pro set, he looks over the defense. He's going to run inside this time for five yards. Donnie Kelly, third and five. They line up again in the same formation. Robert Douglas under. He loves to play action here. Snaps the ball. It is indeed a handoff up the gut for two yards for Bab. It is fourth and three. They are going to have to punt. The punt is seven, 13, 49, 52-yard punt. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2. The win. It is back. The return of four is minus five. Is minus seven. He gets. Oh, he loses five. That's how bad Krucko is at returning punts. Holy cow! A five yard. He tried to reverse field, backpedaled, and got jacked up. Krutko needs to be replaced, folks, as that third back and as that special teams player. He is miserable. Sorry to say it, but uh, sometimes we have to. It is. First and 10 at their own 11, thanks to that horrific punt return. It is a seven-point deficit for Mesa, and here they go. Harold Pennington under center. They're, gonna, they're in the eye. I expect Lenny Jacobson to uh, run the ball outside, and indeed that's what they do for one yard. He's cut down by Alexi Arnold very quickly, second and nine. Harold Pennington under center, looks over the defense. They're in the eye, hands it off up the gut. 
It is for a loss of one to the full back third. Both teams playing a very conservative here early in the third. It is third and ten. Uh, Pennington comes out in the shotgun, sends a man in motion. That's Mickey Garrett, the flanker. He doesn't go in motion much. Snaps the ball. It is a timing pass. He's rolling to his right. Fires. It's a 13-yard pass to Danes for actually 11 yards, 10 yards. First down for Danes at the 22-yard line. First and 10 at the 22. Danes, that was brilliant. The flanker dragging coverage out of the way for the tight end, leaving the tight end in open space. That was a brilliant play design by Wilbert Mulhaney as he uses his moving flanker to draw coverage out of the hole. It was brilliant against this zone defense. They generally run man here in Niagara, but that was a brilliant call, uh, pulling those zone guys out of the hole. Wilbert Mulhaney uh, with a great change there at halftime. Harold Pennington under center, pro set. They hand the ball off. It is going around the end. It is a power sweep outside for two, minus one, one yard. This Niagara defense, so good. That, by the way, was uh, Grant Krutko on the carry, not Jacobson. He's over on the sidelines right now. It looks like his... Uh, uh, he's in good shape. He's just, for some reason, over here on the sidelines. It is second down and nine. Uh, Harold Pennington comes out on the shotgun. He sends Mickey Garrett in motion again. Uh, Don, Denny Stockton and Grant Kruko in the backfield. He sets up. It is a deep drop. It is a timing route for 17 to Garrett. 19, 16 yards, 5, 10, 15, 16. First down at the 39. He finds Mickey Garrett. So motion for Mickey Garrett has freed up both his tight end and himself on that one. This time they let him go through the zone and he found him. The tight end was covered. But that play has proved invaluable for this offense on this drive. Harold Pennington under center. Lenny Jacobson in the eye. They've got two backs in with him. So they're in a, they're in a power set. I believe they're going to run this inside. Sure enough, they do for nowhere. Loss of one, actually, once they measure. Second down and 11 at their own 38. The Niagara Cataract squashed that run by fullback Denny Stockton. It is second and 11. Uh, Harold Pennington backs up into the shotgun. Denny Stockton's out of the ball game. In the ball game is Daryl Dell, the wide receiver. Three wide receivers, one tight end and a half back in the shotgun. Sends Frank Enter in motion, sets up. It's a timing pass. He drops two, drops two more. He's under duress by Lonnie Roman. He's looking to go deep. He does find in his uh, safety valve, Mickey Garrett, at 13 yards and a first down. 10, 11, 12, and 13 down to the 49. Mickey Garrett stayed home. He saw his quarterback in trouble, and he came back toward his quarterback. They teach you that in junior high. Your quarterback's in trouble. Come back to him. Make yourself available. And that is textbook. That's why Mickey Garrett's been in this league for six years. A textbook play by the wide receiver. He saw Pennington scrambling, and he came back to him, and it led to a first down strike. First and 10 at the 49. The Mesa machine looking over this defense. They have a chance to tie this up if they don't mess it up. Harold Pennington, Lenny Jacobs, the best back in football in the eye, pitches it outside for five yards. It's going to be four once they measure this defense. Number four, Alexi Arnold dragging him down. It is second and six. Second and six for Harold Pennington and company. He comes out. In the shotgun, Lenny Jacobson lined up beside him on his right. Denny Stockton out of the game. They've subbed in a third wideout. He's barking signals. The crowd is elevating in volume. He looks it over, hands it off, up the gut on a draw play. This one for a loss of what? No, wait, even nowhere. It is going to be. It is going to be third and six. That draw play didn't fool anybody as Lonnie Roman crashed it and sunk it. It is third and six. Pennington stays in the shotgun with Lenny Jacobson. He's got everybody set. No one in motion. He's got, he doesn't know if this is zone or man. He's going to probably read some kind of uh, combined coverage. That's all he can do. He won't know before the snap of the ball what he's looking at. He drops, sets up. It is a timing route. He does have a combination pattern on the right side, and that tells him they're in man-to-man, -man, and he fires deep corner, and it is caught by 36. Grant Dell, 36. 
33 yards downfield, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, down to the 12, first and goal, at the, uh, first and 10 at the 12. That was a beautiful combination route. You use those combination routes to find out early whether they're in man-to-man -man or zone. When those, those two players crossed over with him and ran, he knew he freed up that corner route, and he threw a perfect strike in the difficult end with this win. But but uh, Dell Daryl Dell with brilliant hands. That's the second big catch for Dell with those great hands. He reels it in, stumbles out at the 12. It is first and 10 for the Mesa Machine at the 12-yard line. The fans stunned silent with a brilliant pass in this wind. Harold Pennington under center, two backs in. Denny Stockton leading the way for and Grant Kruko. Lenny Jacobson gets a pitch out. It is for a loss of two. They hand it off up the gut to Stockton, trying to be tricky. It is second and uh, ten at the fourteen. Second and twelve at the fourteen. Two yard loss. That defense destroyed that counter play. Didn't work. Harold Pennington in the shotgun. He's got three wide receivers, Lenny Jackson in with him. He looks over the offense. It's going to be a five-step drop. He's looking. He's got protection now from uh, Lenny Jacobson as the pressure starts to collapse the pocket. He steps up, and he fires a timing pass incomplete out of the back of the end zone. It is third and 12 at the 14. Harold Pennington desperately trying to tie this ball game up. It is third and 12. He... he uh, 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 huddles them up, uh, talking to everybody. They do some substitutions as Daryl Dell comes out and uh, uh, Grant Kruko comes in. Lenny Jacobson comes out. Denny Stockton goes in and they're uh, uh, making lots of changes. He comes out in the shotgun. He sends Kruko into the far side. Nobody in the backfield to protect him. He snaps the ball. He's running to his right. It is a timing pass. He's trying to get isolation on the tight end and the, on, the, uh, on the goal line. Fires incomplete as it is batted down by Alexi Arnold running step for step with Tom Danes. He tried to get a parallel route right on the white stripe of the goal line. And Alexi Arnold hip uh, on him hip hip and batted that ball away leaving no room for Harold Pennington to put that ball in. It is fourth down and they are down by seven. This kick is not easy down here in this win. The kick is going to be problematic. It's really about a 50-50 chance. He's already missed one chip shot, has Rector. Um, it looks as though they're going to go for it. Pennington back in, the crowd roaring. It's deafening. They don't want to help him at all. They got the noise level turned up to 100 to 11 as Spinal Tap, as you might remember from Spinal Tap. The noise is at 11. Harold Pennington... In the huddle, leaned in tight, everybody in tight. They break out of the huddle into a three-wide receiver set. He's in the shotgun. He sends Jacobson in motion out of the backfield, snaps the ball. It is a timing route. He's firing from the middle of the field, incomplete, batted down by Andrew Kingman. They were trying to throw a quick post route right into the middle of the field to Mickey Garrett. No way. A, a Kingman bats it down in the middle of the field, and they will take over at their own 14. So Mesa Machine has missed the chip shot, and they've gone for it down here and couldn't get it. But in this wind, you can't chance it, obviously. All right, it is first and 10, Niagara at their own 14. Robert Douglas under center. He hands it off outside to Kelly for one yard. Second down and nine. They line up in the eye. Jack Babb right behind the quarterback. They snap the ball. It's an outside pitch to Donnie Kelly. No, they hand it off up the gut for three to Bab. One, two, three. It is third and six. They just want to keep from turning it over here when they have a seven-point lead. Robert Douglas under center. Donnie Kelly in a, a pro set attack. Looks like a slant run up the gut inside. 13 for Bab on the slant. 10 uh, and 4, 14 yards out to the 32. Bab has another huge run right over the nose tackle. That was fantastic. The crowd screaming as he breaks free into the secondary. He's pulled down by Phil Barnwell. He got about four minutes to play in the third. Niagara Cataract looking it over. Robert Douglas, Donnie Kelly, Jack Babb, Larry Andy snaps the ball, pitches it outside for 27. Donnie Kelly hits the corner. He's unstoppable. 28 yards, 10, 25, 6, 7, and 8 down to the 40. That was brilliant. He got a cut block from Milt DeVoe 
on Bill Hayes was untouched, racing 28 yards down the sideline before he is pushed out from behind by Phil Barnwell. That's the second big run by Donnie Kelly this game. Phenomenal. Niagara lines up. Larry Andes is in the game. Donnie Kelly out getting Gatorade, getting some oxygen. The fans are thrilled. Robert Douglas under center looking things over. It's a play action pass. He's looking deep. Timing. 29 yards. He sneaks. Uh, Larry Andes out of the backfield for 29 yards, 27 yards, 10, 25, 6 and 7 down to the 13. Niagara on a play action pass. That was beautiful to Larry Andes subbing out, subbing in for Donnie Kelly. It is first and goal. No, it's first and 10. At the 13, the fans are just exploding. It's so noisy. Robert Douglas has to calm them down. That's shush down. The fans calm. Douglas steps under center. Donnie Kelly's back in, in the eye. Pitches it outside to Kelly. It's going to be a loss of... Nope, it's just one uh, nowhere. Second, he's chopped down immediately by Bill Hayes this time. It is second and 10 at the 13. Uh, Robert Douglas under center. He loves play action here. Sure enough, it's a play action pass. He's rolling to his right. Fires for the end zone. It's going to be 12 yards minus 10 yards down to the three. First and goal at the three. That was caught by Rocky Oyawea. Oh my gosh. First down and goal from the three. Niagara in a power formation. Everybody lined up tight by the Mesa machine. This is goal line versus goal line. This is strength versus strength. This is mono and mono. Snaps the ball. Handoff up the gut for one yard. Bab fights through for one. It's second and goal at the two. They line up again in a three-back set. The defense in a 6-3 up tight to the line of scrimmage. Robert Douglas calls another inside run. This one for a touchdown. Bab punches through two yards. And NC, Bab with a two-yard run. And that is the extra point in this wind is good. And holy cow, folks, Niagara has now taken a commanding lead. They've scored 21 unanswered points. The kickoff is touchback at the 25 for the Mesa Machine. Wow, we got one minute to play in the third and they are now up by 14. Mesa Machine, Harold Pennington trots out, goes straight to the shotgun. They're in a three wide receiver set. They have a man in the backfield with him. He sets up. He's going to throw this sucker deep. Incomplete. Second down. Harold Pennington back into the shotgun. Three wide receiver set. He shifts one wide receiver to the other. Got two on two. Sets up. He's going to drop deep. Sets up in the pocket. He's under pressure by Lonnie Roman. And he fires a shot deep. Incomplete. Third down. That'll end the fourth quarter, third quarter. It is third and ten. Wow. And that makes it 21 to 7. Niagara at home. As they switch sides of the field, the fans are elated. The noise is crazy. The Soda City Tortilla Company runs a handful of commercials about the quality of their food and the quality of their food in conjunction with the Patriot Football League Bowl is the best way to spend your, your Friday morning. I have some tortillas, some nachos, some burritos, some tacos, some tortillas just as a snack. Either way, folks, no better way to enjoy Patriot Football League Championship football than with a Soda City tortilla. And we are back in the fourth. The fans still bellowing here as they know 15 minutes away from being champions. The Mesa Machine spent the whole time out, huddled up on the sideline, talking to the coach. Uh, the whole huddle on the sideline. They go back out to the field together in huddle. I can't quite make out who's in the ball game. I believe it'll be their starting men. Yes, it is. They line up in a shotgun. It is third and 10 at the 25-yard line. And here we go, folks, the final 15 minutes of play. And Harold Pennington sets up. He drops back. He's rolling to his left. He's under duress, but he's hoping Mickey Garrett can clear the deep part of the field. No, he's going to have to throw it away out of bounds. And it's going to be punting time as they sit in Fred Green. The punt is huge. 45 and a fair catch in this wind. 10, 20, 30, 
45. Fair catch at the 30 for Niagara. They have the ball, the crowd elated. Unbelievable. They now know it's just a matter of time, and, and the odds are on their side up by 14. So Mesa Machine will need a turnover to probably change their future here. Robert Douglas comes out, gets under center. Donnie Kelly, Jack Babb in the backfield. And they pitch it to the outside. Donnie Kelly getting nine. No, it's the backup. Larry Andes is in. Gets nine yards. Five and four, nine. Second and one. The fans thrilled with that. That's what they need to do. They line up in an eye formation. Donnie Kelly dots the eye. They hand it off up the gut for two, three yards to Babb and a first down. They're not thinking about going in uh, <clears throat> to the offseason having blown it. It is first and 10 at their own 42. Robert Douglas, Donnie Kelly dots the eye. They're going to hand it off this time to the left. He picks up three yards against this defense. One, two, three. Tackled by Phil Barnwell. Coming out, they are now crowding the line of scrimmage, trying desperately to slow down this running game. Robert Douglas, Donnie Kelly, Jack Babb. They split into the pro set. Strong side left, twins, uh, strong side right, twins left. They set up. He hands it off again. Up the gut for three more. Bab, one, two, three. It is third and four. Third and four. Robert Douglas loves play action. Traditionally, I'm not certain in this wind and in this game he'll do it, but he lines up under center. Donnie Kelly and Jack Babb lined up in the pro set behind either tackle. Tight end right. Twins left. They drop back. It's a play-action pass. He is indeed going to try to throw this. Timing, and it is 26 yards down the middle to 24 yards to Terry Chapman on a beautiful out route, 10, 20, and 4. He catches it, double taps his feet at the sideline on a deep out. It's first down at the 28. Uh, Terry Chapman with a beautiful double tap catch on a deep out. It is first down and 10 at the 28. Robert Douglas, the fans roaring. He has to quiet the fans, calm the fans. Donnie Kelly having Jack Babs adjusting his, his shoulder pads. It looks as though Jack Babb might have gotten drilled into the turf on a pass block there. They're trying to pull his jersey out of his shoulder pads. They get him adjusted. They come out of the huddle, line up. Donnie Kelly dots the eye. They pitch it outside to Donnie Kelly. No, it's to Andy's, who had subbed in for Babb. Two yards, one, two, second down and eight at the 26. Robert Douglas, Donnie Kelly, and Jack Babb back in the game together. Terry Chapman goes in motion in the pro set. Hands it off up the gut for six yards. Donnie Kelly drive through a slant play, five, six. Beautiful slant as the guard in the center drive to the right, fold up the defensive tackles, and he squeaks through for six yards. That was a beautiful play call. Third and two. Third and two. It is Donnie Kelly, Jack Babb, Larry Andy's in the backfield. This is a power set. The Mesa Machine have given up trying to cover as they're clouding the line of scrimmage. Robert Douglas knows he has him where he wants him with a play action. Let's see if he plays smart. Snaps the ball, hands it off up the gut. For two yards and a first down, Jack Babb, one, two. He didn't gamble. He got the first. That means he's going to keep eating clock, and he could still score. That was a great call by Robert Douglas. He did not gamble here. He didn't chance the championship on, a, on an opportunity to beat him in a play-action pass. Robert Douglas now in the game, all three backs. They're clearly in a power formation, and he pitches it outside for a loss of one. Holy cow, Larry Andes pounded on that. It is second down and 11 at the 19-yard line. Robert Douglas under center. Jack Babb splits out into the slot. Donnie Kelly stays in. It's a draw play up the gut inside for five yards. Donnie Kelly, they spread the defense, and they hand it off up the gut on a draw. That was nice. I really thought they might throw there. Should know better. It is a five-yard run by Donnie Kelly. It is third and six. At the 14, Robert Douglas under center, all three backs in the game. Uh, Terry Chapman's out. Herman Canil uh, goes in motion behind the tight end. They're clearly building a stacked right side, snaps the ball, pitches to the right outside for seven, eight yards is Donnie Kelly. Five, six, seven, and eight down to the six. First and goal at the six. Niagara's offense was the number one offense in the history of our game. They scored nearly 30 points a game. And folks, you are seeing just how good they are. It is first and goal at the six. 
They have methodically driven down three straight times and punched it in. I think this may be their fourth and probably a championship ring. Robert Douglas under center. Donnie Kelly, Jack Babb, Larry Andes. They're not going to change what they're doing. Snaps the ball, hands it off inside for four yards. Donnie Kelly down to the two. The crowd roaring. Robert Douglas and everybody in the huddle. You can see they're relaxed. You can see Donnie. You can actually see Robert Douglas gave Donnie Kelly a high five when he came back into the huddle. They are feeling good. They talk to each other. They come out. Donnie Kelly dots the eye. He's got two lead blockers in Larry Andes and Jack Babb. They snap the ball. It's an inside run. Touchdown, Jack Babb. It's a handoff to the first back through. Babb with his second rushing touchdown of the day. This one from the two as well. That is two running touchdowns for Jack Babb on the day. The PAT is good. And I have to tell you, folks, 28 unanswered points scored by the Niagara Cataract, proving they are the best team in the Patriot Football League. The kickoff is five, six-yard line. Well, let's see what happens here as Krutko, the worst kick returner in the game, returns it out, minus three, returns it to 12 yards. They're at the 18. Not good. Mesa Machine must get a special teams kick returner. Holy cow. First and 10, Harold Pennington, the crowd on their feet. They haven't stopped cheering since the score of Jack Babb. It is 28 to 7. Mesa hasn't scored since the first quarter. This is well in hand by Niagara. The Harold Pennington in the shotgun having trouble hearing. He's going to throw a timing pass. It's picked off. He takes a shot for Mickey Garrett. It's picked off 14 yards downfield, 10 4 at the 32. It's going to be returned. Uh-oh, could go all the way, 11-23, and he goes, fumbles, he actually fumbles it away, 23 yards downfield, 10, 21, 2, 3, the ball is on the ground, and it's recovered by the offense, and the offense is the returning team, it's first and goal at the 9, can't believe it, uh, who picked that off? Uh, the interception by a uh, six. That was uh, Andrew Kingman picked that off, returned it down to the nine, coughed it up, but he was able to recover his own fumble. Kingman with an INT puts the game away. The crowd is unbelievably loud here. They know now game over. The Mesa machine on the sidelines looked dejected. Harold Pennington walking off, shaking his head, helmet off. By the time he gets to the bench, the helmet has beat him to the to the cooler as the helmet bounces off the big orange Gatorade cooler as he has pitched his helmet into the into the refreshments and Harold Pennington disgusted with his play there. The Niagara Cataract full house backfield snapped the ball. They're handing it off up the middle for six yards to Bab. This team looks like they're beaten. Holy beaten. That was a six yard run against a goal line defense. Second down. Robert Douglas hands it off up the gut again. Two more for Bab. He's going for a record in the Patriot game. He's got two already. It is third and goal at the one. They hand off inside. Oh, no, the noise. Uh, they're running against their own offense. The noise causes them to jump in their own house. Five-yard penalty. It is third and goal at the six. Robert Douglas now telling the crowd, calm down. My guys can't hear me. And he gets under center, snaps the ball. It's a rollout, play-action pass. He's going to fire progression incomplete. Batted down at the goal line, and that is fourth down. The coach meets... Robert Douglas two steps off the bench and yelling in the face of Robert Douglas is Bill Ingram telling him, how dare you throw the ball here, game one. And there's a little bit of drama between Douglas and Coach Ingram. He comes off the field as they send on Elder Wayne. Elder Wayne lines it up. The spot is down. The hold is good. He kicks, and it's good. Barely drifting through in this weather, but Elder Wayne adds... A 23-yard field goal. This game, 31-7. to It is over, folks. You can celebrate, celebrate, Mr. Govier. It is, uh, it is a championship ring for the nine, the nine and two Niagara Cataract. Now ten and two. The return is deep. So after the 25, the Mesa Machine send out Harold Pennington in a full house backfield. And they run the ball inside for a loss of three. One, two, three, 
third down. Harold Pennington in the shotgun sends Lenny Jacobson out. Sets up going deep, incomplete. Third down and 12, 13 yards. Third down and 13 from the shotgun. Frank Getter in motion, sets up deep, rolls to his left, trying to avoid pressure, fires to the flanker for 16 yards, 5, 10, 15, 16, and a first down. Nice pass there. Harold Pennington trying desperately to do something. In the shotgun, the crowd is so noisy. These guys aren't running motion. They can't afford to be moving at the snap of the ball. Snaps it, drops deep, looks. He's under pressure. He's scrambling for his life. The scramble is 8 as he fires a 17, 19, 16-yard pass to Mickey Garrett, 5'10", 15, 16, first down. He was running for his life there, folks, against Lonnie Roman. He fires to Mickey Garrett on another brilliant out route. Garrett, again, smart enough, coming back to his quarterback in trouble. It is, it is textbook, high-quality uh, coaching and play there as, as Garrett is a true veteran receiver. It is First down and 10 with two and a half minutes to play. Harold Pennington with a full house backfield. It's a pitch to the left for four, three yards, one, two, three. Second down and seven. Pennington under center, full house backfield. Hands it off up the gut for loss of one. Denny Stockton pounded. It is third. It is third and five, six, seven, eight, third and eight. He sets up in the shotgun, sends Stockton out of the game, brings in Daryl Dell. He sets up. It's a timing pass. He fires incomplete. It's fourth down the wind, throwing that football all over the space. It is fourth down and eight. Harold Pennington in the shotgun. Daryl Dell in motion. The crowd so loud. They're going clearly on a, on a uh, silent count. He drops deep. He's under pressure. He picks gets a block from Denny Stockton. Fires deep. He has to settle for an underneath route of 16, uh, 13 yards and a first. 10, 11, 12, 13. First down at the 31. No one's calling timeouts. The crowd now is moving down toward the field. They have rushed the bench. They snap the ball and kneel down. That's the game. Niagara Cataracts, you are champions. You have scored 10 points in the fourth. You have won Patriot Bowl 6, 31-7. Congratulations, Paul and Kevin. The Mesa Machine were a fine team, just not good enough against Niagara and that defense in their house. And they were faded. 10-2 finishes the Niagara Cataract, and 8-4 and finishes the Mesa Machine. Thank you for watching, and good day.